Hello, Mazaril Knox. We are going to enter the dungeon. Now, before this goes any further, this game has a lot of flashing lights in it. And a lot of flashing colours. If you cannot handle that, not the video for you. Now, because I'm entering the dungeon, go a little bit redneck here. Camo cap. I've just had to replace this, which is my tactical flashlight. This is going to be very bright. Very bright. I use this uh, when I'm walking around at night in this area. Um, very hand, very useful to have. This is a Claris XT Twenty One X Pro, forty-four hundred lumen. Uh, you're walking around at night. Somebody starts giving you trouble. Just might as well just do it. Somebody, you're walking around at night. Someone's giving you trouble. Just Bang, just bang. This is all they're going to see. While they're like, oh my god. While they're freaking out because they can't see, run. Just get the fuck out of there. So, uh, I'm recording this after I've done Soulstorm. I'm going all bogan redneck prepper as well with, with a beer. Uh... Let's see, Victoria Bitter is named after the street it was brewed on, Victoria Parade, not the state. Fascinating. Okay, let's get into Enter the Dungeon. A uh, Gungeon. I like to play as the Hunter. I'm using keyboard and mouse. <clears throat> I mean, it's got guns, so, you know, you got to go full prepper on it. I'm just going to turn that music down a little bit because I think it's interfering with the microphone. Uh, so the sound effects is still going to be the same, it's just the music. Alright, so I like the hunter because she has the crossbow. Again, very redneck. I'm as bogan as they come. <laughs> well, as civil bogan as they come. But uh, definitely not a redneck. But, you know. I mean, there's more bogan people than me. Because I'm not yelling, Oh, you fucking cunt, blah, 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 blah. There are people around here that do. They're mostly nice people. They're mostly nice people. You're always going to run into an idiot. No matter where you go, there's always going to be an idiot. And it may or may not be me. But no, I um, actually bought this hat because my head keeps getting sunburned. And uh, I was going to buy a black hat, but then I'm like, everything I buy these days, it's either grey or black. Fuck. Get back here. Alright, got it. Yeah, everything I buy these days, it's either grey or black. So I was like, yeah, nah. I need to buy something with some colour in it. I've got the beard. And, uh, yeah. It's, uh, this kind of camo hat just tends to go well with uh, somebody that looks like me. So I've got the bags under my eyes, I've got the beard, I've got the beer, I've got the tactical flashlight. What the hell? Alright, it's a scandal. Okay, so which boss are we going to get this time? Is it going to be the, uh, the gull, the Gatling gull, or is it going to be the other one? Don't know until we get there. But no, so I've already gone through all of Soulstorm. That's going to get uploaded after I've uh, uploaded maybe two or three Gungeons. Uh, it's all prepped and ready to go. 
It's just those files are fucking massive. Alright, so I'll hold off for the other chest. Yeah, those, uh... Those Soulstorm videos are upwards of 5 gig. And on my internet, yeah, that's going to take two days for one video to upload. So, I've got to be realistic about it. This music sounds off. There's something not right about it. Oh, there we go. Hell yeah. Proton backpack. Okay, so... It'll be marginally faster to get to the shop. Why did I leave that goo on stone in there? Okay, so uh, I will take the key. All right, let's go for the boss. Proton backpack, King of Bullets. That's who it was. No nope, Bullet King. No, well, it doesn't matter. I've got the proton pack. Should be able to make short work of him. Or rather, I would if I wasn't so out of practice. Like the, uh, the last video that I uploaded before this one. I, uh, I recorded that before Soulstorm. Okay, so what do we got? Corsair. Got a key. I'll take that. I'm going to go back for that health. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how many floors I'm going to get down. Might be one, might be two. Who knows? Really depends what I run into and how focused I am today. Okay, get these. Be uh, I think they're be holsters. No, that's the boss. All right, get the grenades. Get the rubber bullets. And those static bullets. Yeah, there's something off with this music. Could be because I'm in offline mode. Could be because I'm in offline mode. I know uh, some games like to do silly things like, uh, well, not necessarily silly, but they they like to do things to mess with people if they pirate the game, which I haven't done here. It's on my Steam account. Fuck. Okay, so... Right, the shaky cam in uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. I unknowingly bought a pirated copy of that. I didn't get very far because my computer couldn't run it at the time, but... Uh, I definitely would have had that issue if it could have uh, run. Actually, it might have, it might have done that. I don't remember. I just remember my computer couldn't run it very well. And I probably chalked up the shaky cam to 
uh, the computer not being able to run it. Okay, so... Yeah, now I'm thinking about it, I might just do two Gungeons and then get into Soulstorm. So it'll be this one, the other one, and then upload Soulstorm. Because Gungeons are roguelike, roguelite. So I could always just post more Gungeon later. Just come in, do a run. Yep, cool. There's a filler video for a, for a week. Alright, I'll take that. Definitely have that. Uh, Alright, Scrambler is a good gun. Alright, I'll open this chest. SAA, okay. I don't remember what that does. I remember the guns I like, and Scramble is one of them. But no, the um, games like Gungeon, Isaac, uh, yeah, I could definitely just Pop one of these in on an off week. The rogue lights, minimal editing, aside from making sure the level sound levels are good. Uh, yeah, pretty straightforward. I did end up beating Dungeons of Dreadmore on an old save. Um, yeah, so unfortunately Dazza didn't make it through, but an older, an older save file did. Shit. Oh well. And there's the video. Ten minutes too short. Alright, let's do a quick restart. Yeah, like 10 minutes, nah, not, not long enough. 20 minutes, yeah. 20 minutes minimum. Okay, I will save that. Uh, I'm not used to playing this with the sound on, because I'm usually playing, if I'm playing uh, a roguelite like this, it's usually while I'm listening to a podcast. I mean, there's nothing stopping me from doing that now, but I'd be focused on the podcast and not focused on what I'm doing the, uh, while I'm recording. So, uh, let's see. All right, what have we got? Supply drop. Okay, good. So that. Yeah, like, there's no way I'd be able to play this with the controller. Controllers aren't precise enough. Uh, 
And I was just thinking how funny would it be to to do what I did with Dungeons at Redmore but with a uh, with the Elder Scrolls either it be uh, Oblivion or Skyrim but uh, Morrowind I, I could never get into Morrowind I tried I did try I, I just can't play Morrowind Arena and the other one I've, I've looked at, but I haven't actually gotten into into playing those. Arena and Daggerfall. I've looked at Arena and Daggerfall, but uh, yeah, just fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Uh, Arena and Daggerfall, I. I've looked at, but I don't think they're my thing. I mean, I've got the original XCOMs on GRG. Those could be fun. But I've got a... I've got a bad memory associated with... Uh... Alright, here we go. Speedier than a bullet. I've got a bad memory associated with uh, the original XCOM. Um, my cat at the time, Frank, he got bitten either by a tiger snake or a black snake, uh, or a brown snake. I was thinking a red belly black snake, but that wasn't it. Uh, yeah, it was either a tiger or a brown, uh, bit him. Uh, Frank almost died. Like, Frank almost died in my lap. And he wanted to die in my lap. He knew he was dying. Um, there's no question. He knew. He knew he was going to die. I uh, I managed to get him to the vet just in time. Uh, after getting into a full-on fucking argument with my parents. About he's, he's dying. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Like, look at him. He's fucking dying. And I called up a vet. Yes, get him in here right now. And uh, we got Frank in there just in time. They saved him. Uh, but when Frank knew he was dying, he I, I sat down with him because uh, I was playing the original XCOM before this. This is how it ties into it. So I sat down with him. He just climbed into my lap and he just curled up. He just curled up and... Oh god, I already know about the Gatling uh, goal. But no, so he, he just curled up in my lap and... Uh, he, he, I thought he was going to sleep. He passed out. He, he legit passed out in my lap. Um, and then he, then he come to, and I, uh, and I was, I was like, all right, uh, I was, he's been in my lap for about 15 minutes. I'm going to go, I'm going to go make some coffee. So I get up to go and make some coffee. He looks at me. He just jumps right back into my lap. He just jumps right back into my lap. And he's like, no, no, you're not going anywhere. I want to be here right now. So I let him stay for another five minutes. And I try to move him again. He digs his claws in. Like, full on dug his claws into my leg. I'm like, what the hell are you doing, you little shit? So I... Legit have to pry him out of my lap. At this point, I didn't know he was sick. So I had to... I had to pry him out of my lap. I, I, stand, I stand him up and he just flops over. I'm like, what are you doing, you idiot? What are you throwing a tantrum for? 
I stand him up again, he flops over. I stand him up again, he flops over, and then I'm like... And then he... He drags himself into my lap, like his legs are dragging behind him. He crawls into my lap, just immediately digs his claws into my leg. I had, uh... I had small scars there for a, some time. Uh... I probably still do, they probably just faded. But he, he he just dug his claws into my leg and he looked at me like, I'm not fucking moving, do not move me again. And then that's when I realised something's wrong with him. And then he passed out again. And that's when I got into an argument with my parents about uh, getting him to the vet because I, I don't drive. I still don't drive. This happened... Ah, oh, fuck, when did this happen? This happened ten years ago. No, not ten years ago. Yeah, it was ten years ago. Was it ten years ago? No, not quite ten years ago. I'm thinking of uh, thinking of another pet, but uh, no, this happened in 2016. This happened 2016, and uh, yeah, so we get him to the vet, which was 30 k's away, because uh, of course it was. So we get him to the vet just in time. Just in time, and, uh, the vet, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm fucking bawling my eyes out. Because I'm, Frank at the time, best mate. He was my best mate. I still get emotional about it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, that cat and me, oh my god. Oh my god. He He was always by my side. He would he would never leave me alone. If I was around, he's always on me or next to me or or just always wanted to be next to me. At times that that was annoying. At times that was really annoying. But no, he he was such a gorgeous cat. And then then he went missing. A couple of years after that, he he went missing without a trace. I've got a very good idea what happened to him. I've got a very good idea what happened to him. But uh I'm not I'm not going down for fucking slander. I'm not going down for slander. But, uh... No, so... Yes, uh, I don't remember how I got on to Frank. Oh, that's right, XCOM. Original XCOM, I may or may not have a go at playing that on... on camera. It's a very... Very complicated. I mean, I don't mind it as a game. Pick up the key. I don't mind it as a game, but... Uh, yeah, it's... Um, it's very tactical. Now, if you're watching this before you see the Soulstorm uh, series, I will warn you that there is a lot of swearing in that. The Soulstorm is still broken in several ways. I mean, it wasn't exactly polished when it came out, but it's still broken. To the point where 
Uh, it is very frustrating and I lost my call. All right, so chest friends forever. What is that? Okay, shield of the maiden, cool. What does this do? Increases the chance of finding chests. The ring was first given to Winchester, largely due to a naming mix-up. With little use for treasure, Winchester eventually gave it away as a prize in one of his strange games. Good. Useful. Okay. I don't know what those pots do. I forgot what they do. They're annoying. Okay, so... There's nothing in here. Ah! <laughs> I've got a key for that. Alright, what do we got here? My rescuer, I know you had no choice but to vanquish my fellow lock to free me. An unfortunate sacrifice, but a necessary one. Come by my shop whenever you see me. There are many things in my stores that you might find helpful. Okay. Alright. Did I find the boss? Yes, I did. Alright, I already bought the key from you. I'm not going to waste my money on armor. Right, so last time it was to be holster. It might be Medusa this time. No, nope, it's to be holster. I just realized. Well, not realized. I just noticed it's got a fucking crosshair in its eyeball. That's clever. Okay, so... But no, that, uh... That torch that I've just had to replace because I lost the other one. The other one saved me from quite a bit of trouble. I've had people try to follow me while I'm walking around. Quick flash of that at the ground. Yeah, that's all it took. That's all it took for a lot of them, unless they were high or desperate. I remember when I was helping uh, to open a location at uh, at one of my jobs. I mean, not that I'm a manager or anything like that, it's just, I was just one of the staff that helped to open the store. Like, getting it ready. I had, uh, two junkies, like, phew, I'm going to say 20 metres behind me. I flashed the, uh, the torch of the ground to just be like, hey, back off. And that, uh, that normally works. Now these two weren't having it. These two were not having it at all. Like, as soon as I've done that, Oh, you really want to fucking go, cunt? Alright, let's go! And, uh, you know, I'm just like, uh, yeah, nah. So, he happened to be... Okay. Ooh, that's interesting. So, I'm just like, um, yeah, not getting into a fight with these two. They're too dumb to realise that they're going to get blinded. Um, and I just happened to be right next to where I was living at the time, so I just stepped over the fence and into uh, the property I was living at. As soon as I'd done that, they backed off. Because they didn't know I lived there. All they're thinking is, uh, dude's gonna knock, so not worth it. All 
like a t-shirt cannon. No, Scrambler was the last run. But no, um, you got to pick your battles. You're definitely going to pick your battles. Because uh, if you go into something blindly, you're going to get fucked. Like, legit, you are going to get fucked. You gotta know who and and or what you're up against. Because if you don't, then uh, you're not gonna get out of that. Or if you do, you're gonna be extremely lucky. Alright, how long was this one? Yeah, half hour, good enough for me. Alright, so after this one, that's when Soulstorm's going to start getting uploaded. Uh, just be mindful, there is a lot of swearing in that. And a lot of rage and frustration. Okay, I'm out of here. Later.